Okay, uh, Council Member Tam. Um, just have a couple of questions, and I appreciate the staff report. Uh, can you point out the section in the exclusive negotiating agreement that explicitly uses the word uh, Measure A and Measure A compliance? I'm going to sit down with, with the, I have my ENA and all that. Do you want to talk I, I suspect that you are aware that there is no such term. Having, I'm sure, read it um, yourself, there is an interpretation, though, that uh, uh, that suggests that that's the only thing it could be. The um, <clears throat> the developer had a a chance under the um, exclusive negotiating agreement to submit a measure. Um, sorry, sorry an initiative that uh, did was a non-Measure A compliant plan uh, attempting to get a, uh, an amendment of Measure A, and um, that failed. Under the terms of the exclusive negotiating agreement, then there is an option for an option entitlement application, and uh, that has to comply with whatever existing law is, which in this case is Measure A. So regardless of the fact that the ENA doesn't say Measure A, that nonetheless is the interpretation. The, the second question has to do with um, the uh, exactly what you said that um, the city found SunCal in default because it submitted an optional entitlement agreement that you said was not consistent with existing law. Um, can you help me interpret section 3.2.5.1 of the ENA? Council Member Tam, you may have gotten your second wind on this agenda item, but I have not. It is nearly 2 in the morning, and this particular, well, the question you're asking me would have been more appropriately asked in a prior agenda. Um, the a matter before you tonight is whether or not to agree to a 60-day tolling period. I'm trying to understand the reason for the request for the tolling period. And in that same context, I am trying to understand whether or not there is an ability on the part of our partner to cure the default as the city has deemed it. And my understanding of Section 3.2.5.1 states that the developer shall use best efforts to submit all required supplemental information sufficient for the entitlement application to promptly be deemed complete by Alameda. And that was the first step. Did we deem the application incomplete? The, um, the notice of default sets forth uh, the analysis and the reasoning. That's, that's your document. Everything that you need is in that document. SunCal, if you want to know whether or not SunCal feels they are capable of curing by the um, date they're here, they can be asked. It is uh, the city's position that they are uh, certainly capable of curing. It's not an impossible task. The um, notice of default was very specific about um, the problem with the optional entitlement agreement and what needs to be done in order to make it compliant with existing law. When I read the ENA, it says that the developer may include general plan amendments, zoning amendments to the MX zoning, and such other entitlements and approvals the developer may request for the project site. Has that occurred? Has what occurred? Has the developer requested those type of amendments? Excuse me, uh, requested the ENA states that the uh, developer may include general plan amendments, zoning amendments to MX zoning, and, quote, such other entitlements and approvals the developer may request for the project site. Andrew, 